Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I promised that my next video was going to be um, these rainbow do-it-yourself shorts that I made for Coachella. I, speaking of Coachella, I had the best time ever. I wanna spread my ashes there. But it's so funny, I made a bunch of shorts for Coachella and these are the only ones that I actually did not end up wearing. Regardless, they're my favorite. I can wear them for the summer or something. Anyways, grab an old pair of jeans or go buy an old pair of jeans. These are old, they're faded. I'm never gonna wear them again. They're high-waisted, I like that. So I'm just gonna walk in them so that they ride up to where they normally would, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And then I need to cut them. Now I'm gonna make two cuts. It's better to cut it too long at first then cut it too short at first and then you just it's just ruined you know what I mean so I make one cut probably like an inch and a half below my pocket and in the front I'm going to cut it kind of low in the front actually at first because I'm just gonna do like the initial cut and then the second time around you know we'll make it perfect so right now I'm just you know cutting straight across no curves no nothing okay now I'm gonna go back in front of the mirror try them on now I'm okay with the length in the back. I think that's fine. The front part, it's too much. We need that shorter, girl. I don't really like it when it's all one length around, you know? I like it when the front part of the shorts are shorter than the back part. So I'm gonna take my pen and I'm going to kind of clean it up. I'm going to, you know, mark what needs to be cut off, where I want it to curve, you know, how short I want the front part. Maybe if I messed up on some other parts in the back. I'm gonna mark that as well. So the second time around is me just kind of like perfecting the cut. You know what I mean? Also, keep in mind that there is gonna be fraying, so take a mental note that whatever you cut it at, it is going to end up being like a half of a half of an inch shorter than that because of the fraying when you get it out of the dryer. You know, it gets like puffy and stuff and it just gets a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter, so it's not like too big of a deal, but it's there. Okay, so now it is time for the second cut. I am all getting all cleaned up here, okay? I'm just cutting off the excess, you know. Whenever you cut for the first time, there's always like errors and stuff, and that's why, I mean, hey, maybe you're good. Maybe you got this down the first time. I do not, that's for sure. One time I cut it way too short. Okay, fraying. Now, once you're done, you'll notice, you know, you have this finely cut, jean edge man nothing to do with it now you can take your fingers and you can you know try to pull it out but that's gonna i'll see you next year doing it that way buddy you're gonna need a tool for sure take your tweezers maybe but i don't really like using tweezers either i think it takes too long i went to the kitchen aisle at the stow and i got this bad boy it's like 79 cents this is a freaking beast right here like this just will rip through your jeans quickly too um i mean it's just really great, man. Okay, so invest in one of those. Now say you wanna cut slits, you know, in it somewhere. Watch the pockets. You could lose something very valuable. I just pinch it where I want it, make a little incision like so. Take my scissors, I cut one line all the way across. I mean, you can do it however long you want to. And then I cut a little bit above that as well. So I'm almost cutting like a little chunk out. See, like that. I'm gonna take my helpful friend here and I'm going to fray that as well, okay? Fray it as much as you, whatever you want. I mean, you can do a lot of fraying, you can do a little bit of fraying. Also, keep in mind, after it comes out of the dryer, that's gonna give it like the puffy look. That's the dryer's job. Oh, I had to dry it. Bleach is the next step. Now, I don't really believe in filling up a whole bucket of bleach for one pair of shorts. I just feel like it's really wasteful, so I like to use either a spray bottle and soak it with the bleach that way, and it saves so much bleach doing it this way, but you might need to go over it a couple of times and it takes a really long time. Another way is just to fill a little bit in a pan and then kind of like squish up your shorts and dunk them inside. I don't know why I'm not using gloves, by the way. I just realized that. Watch this, I sped it up. It's slowly bleaching it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, now once it's done bleaching, this should be what it looks like kind of, you know, if you want to fix up the parts that didn't bleach, fine. I don't really care because we're going to cover it anyways. Now the part I'm going to show you right now is completely optional. This right here is my soda ash. <laughs> and um, now to make this a long story short story, what? To make a long story short, what soda ash kind of does is it keeps the colors from bleeding, it keeps the color, it's kind of like using a primer before makeup basically. 
you soak it for five minutes and rinse it and then when you apply the color it you know helps it to not bleed and also helps it to last longer so however I've used you know color without soda ash before and it worked fine it lasted you know lasted okay so it's optional okay you be the judge if you're gonna tie-dye anything or multicolor anything okay so now I recommend not coloring your shorts until they have dried at least like 80 percent that's just from personal experience man i lay it flat and then afterwards it's color time now these are the supplies i got i got a couple tie-dye kits they actually work really well the ones that i got from this um, art store next to me now in this specific kit it came with a bunch of bottles with the powder on the bottom you just put water in like so and then you shake it up and we are ready to go and use whatever dye you want you know whatever you've tried if you like another brand you don't have to use this brand I just used this one for my last pair of shorts and I really liked how it turned out so I'm using it again for this one now here are my shorts they're laid flat they are almost dried they're a little bit damp still but I'm starting off with green I know last time I started off with red and you guys had jokes for me anyways so I'm gonna try to make it like a rainbow. So next to green is yellow, next to yellow is orange. I don't have orange, but I have red. Now here's what I do when I wanted to blend colors. I would just put the next color next to it like so, in this case red. And in between the yellow and the red, I just kind of start blending it together, almost like makeup. And I use the little nozzle of the bottle to kind of smear as I pour. And I'm just kind of getting them to bleed together, you know, I'm kind of creating an orange in between. And don't worry if it isn't perfect, it's really hard to be perfect, trust me, I've been there, just joking. Um, it's really hard to get these shorts to be perfect, so don't really worry about it uh, if it's not. Anyways, so now I am using purple to kind of be my gateway color into blue. And this is blue. I'm going to end this side with a little blue. I love this blue so much. I'm kind of going back and forth with purple and red just to kind of blend it all together so there's no harsh color changes. And you'll see, it'll all just kind of bleed together the more you start blending. It's like painting. Now the other side, I'm going to blend the blue with the green. And then I'm going to end this in red instead of having it right in the crotchal region like the other pair of shorts. Okay, and then afterwards, you know, I'm going to move it to the back. Be careful when you lift it up because there's probably going to be a lot of leakage. You don't want to get any color smeared on your pretty little rainbow. Now the back part is going to be a lot easier because a lot of the color from the front has already bled through. So we're just gonna go over the color, make it brighter, obviously, make it solid, make it blend, make it pretty. And then we're going to let it sit. I really recommend letting your shorts sit for at least a day. I recommend not throwing them into the washer until they are almost 100% dry. Trust me, I made that mistake before. You don't wanna be where I have been. Um, okay, put them in the washer and dryer. Take them out and look at you, girlfriend. Uh, the dryer is really gonna, you know, make the fray nice and fluffy. Like we want it. The washer is gonna make the colors a lot brighter and prettier. And I'm just really happy with them. If you guys want more tutorials on shorts, then comment below. And I hope that you guys like it. I'll see you soon. Bye.